Leaving the KOA was a struggle. We had some trouble bringing up the leveling jacks. We didn't know it at the time, but it was due to a bad battery. They would come up partway and the control panel would blink red and the app told us there was an error. Even though we were plugged into shore power, the control panel would die immediately. The only way to bring up the jacks was to start the generator. Before long, we were hitched up and on the road again. Our next destination is Kentucky Horse Park. and a steep drop off from the asphalt slab that is the site. It made backing in very difficult. I didn't want to have a wheel drag if it was off the pad and risk damaging something. Not to mention this was only the second or third time I had to back in. Things did not go well. After struggling for close to 30 minutes, we picked a different site and backed it right in. The low hanging tree poked holes in our roof, so I had to go dig around for some repair tape and patch a few holes. The next day's forecast called for rain, so there was no putting it off.
here somewhere.
After a long day on the road, we let the boys relax in the grass behind our site since it was pretty open with empty sites neighboring ours. The grass is super soft and comfy to lay in. And we met an older couple who said they'd been on the road for 10 years now. It was a lot of work for only one night at the horse park, and there weren't even any horses. The next morning, we couldn't get out of there fast enough. Tomorrow we'll make our way into Ohio and spend the night at our first harvest host. <laughs> 